இன்டர்நேஷனல் திருக்குறள் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் கலை தமிழ் தமிழ் வளர்ச்சி மன்றம் ஆஸ்திரேலியா வாய்ஸ் ஆஃப் வல்லூர் ஃபேமிலி இந்தியா டுகெதர் லான்ச் அபவுட் இயர் அண்ட் ஆஃப் பேக் a movement sort of a movement to uh, promote to create awareness more awareness about thirukural and um, taking thirukural to unesco the unesco's tagline is building peace in the minds of men and women <coughs> the world is torn by various kind of uh, fissiparous tendencies in this world there is one one book one book a comprehensive book a set of guidelines which can possibly can unite uh, people over a period of time if not tomorrow yes we need to work towards peace and thirukkural uh, there is a secular masterpiece which which is a evergreen book today we have people eminent people from all over the world uh, joined this program and uh, today is the 17th of this series uh, international thirukkural foundation dr arumam parasuraman who held a very important position in mauritius uh, especially relating to culture education and science uh, natural graduation from there to unesco and he had varied experience all over the world in various capacities in unesco and with these two things uh, with a education minister and a, a former education minister in mauritius and uh, with a, with his a uh, very very uh, deep exposure to unesco's working uh, has made him to uh, get into this new role of taking unesco uh, taking thirukkural to unesco we all know it is possible only with the help of the government of tamil nadu and government of india and they need to meet they need to move a proposal and take it to uh, take it to unesco and place it before them but before that all thirukkural lovers all people those who love the humanity need to come together and work together we need to work together and and create enough enough environment the the necessary environment to uh, take it to unesco in this uh, efforts dr arun parasraman uh, taken an initiative and conducted various conferences uh, starting with the delhi uh, kanyakumari australia uh uk and now this series when the world is uh, locked down with the various uh, you know various uh, at various levels various measures uh, last two years plus we had tough time with the uh, uh, covid 19 and this time dr arun prasaman uh, thought about this english uh, lecture series uh, with the eminent speaker from all over the world to talk with the core theme of world war and world peace various aspects various dimensions and this series today is the 17th 17th of this uh, series and today we have with us uh, our chief guest uh, arvind bharti when he went through his cv uh, what an excellent cv and he has got he, he, he knows the pulse of the people he knows the pulse of the gen next and thirukkural is a evergreen literature which is, which gives room for uh, interpreting to the uh, needs of the modern time 2000 years it stood the test of time and it will live till the last man lived on this planet so today we have eminent speaker arvind bharti more about him dr arun prasamma will uh, present before all of you and uh, it, it is not effort of this four four organization or five organization it should be the collective efforts of all people who are all over the world the latest on Eng- latest english translation on thirukkural is by a japanese a scholar who lives in states is the latest on board uh, to, to get hooked on to the magnet called world one so we have people cutting across all walks of life i am sure it will gather momentum and it, it will it will march towards unesco so today uh, session will be chaired by dr arun prasaman he will conduct the session and um, uh dr uh, arvind bharti will be the uh, keynote speaker he will be the he is a speaker today speaker of the day so with these uh, introductory remarks uh, i welcome each one of you from all over the world uh, and uh, hand over uh, the the proceedings to uh, dr arun prasaman sir please uh, 
please take over the session, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Rajendran, for the for the introduction and for also setting the scene for the mission that this conference, uh, the series of conference has. Well, today we are very privileged to have a very distinguished speaker, uh, Mr. Aravind Bharati. And uh, he has chosen a topic which is, I, I believe, very, very interesting. And uh, is in, in fact a new topic, a topic that we have not touched so far, uh, where we will be addressing the Insta generation, a guide a guide for this Insta generation. Let me, let me have this privilege of welcoming him and introducing him to all of you. And I would like to thank all of you for, for being with us uh, at this conference. And I, 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 we expect others to join us also. Um, Mr. Aravind Bharati, he has a wonderful, uh, very, very impressive CV. And what he writes is that he's a human being who believes in living life to the fullest with some energy, peace, and fulfillment. That's a wonderful way of describing his own philosophy in life. Well, he, is, he has been uh, very much involved. He's well known for oration, poetry, and anchoring in college circles. He has a record of 100 awards, prizes in the state and national level contests and various events. He's been acting as master of ceremony for various uh, event coordination and comparing in, in Chennai circle with 50 shows in various sabas and auditorium for 17 plus years. But, but most interestingly, he has created content for, on, based on Tirukural, and that's where he distinguishes himself. Uh, a, a series, a Tirukural video series, Feel Good Kural, a Tirukural based 72 episode series uh, for Nakiran on the relevance of Tirukural to today's world. And he has, uh, we have, I will share with all of you the his CV so you'll get a lot of information there with the links to what I just mentioned. He has also developed a 12 episode series for Nakiran on the importance of ethics at work for today's generation. He has an awareness series with 72 episodes on the spread of fake news on COVID-19 and global pandemic. He's well known for a video series on parenting and educational awareness. In fact, these are very uh, are topics which are very, very much uh, the, the philosophy behind Tirukural, the teaching of Tiruvalluvar, and therefore he has covered quite a, a areas which are very important. He's been also involved in public service broadcasting, 17 years plus with All India Radio. And uh, he has, is well appreciated for quiz shows, children's interaction shows, experience sharing based counseling, uh, then fast paced and frenzied listener shows, interviews based on film industry, public health, education and history. For 10 years, he's been with Didi Podigay, where he's been well appreciated for interview, interaction-based program on public health, Indian history, legal awareness, world news, and cookery. And he's also appreciated for a astrophysics-based documentary. Well, he's noted for rendering voiceover for various health news-based programs, and also for a few commercials for private ad agencies. He, he has been having, uh, being trained by survival instincts to work in collaboration with law enforcement and communities to meet the needs and enhance recovery of victims, witnesses, neighborhoods, and businesses in the aftermath of a significant natural disaster or the traumatic event. He's also very keen about children and youth development. A peer educator since college days, frequently facilitates student community <laughs> in school colleges through motivational and life upliftment sessions. He's engaged with non-commercial NGOs and volunteer groups. And 
in terms of his academic strengths, is visiting faculty for PG Diploma Studies, Indian Society for Training and Development, Executive PG Diploma in HR, Loyola Institute of Business Administration, MBA Module Development Award in Organizational Behavior, and, all, and a Bachelor of Science, Plant Biology and Biotechnology. So this profile, as you could see, is very, very impressive, very varied also, and he has a wide range of expertise in different fields, but very much relevant to the teachings of Tirukkural with regards to, uh, to values, to the young generation, and to ethics, and so on. And today, the topic he has chosen is very interesting. As I said, it, it is, is a, a valuvam it, for, the, for, the, for the Insta generation, whereby uh, he will cover the following uh, points in, the, in his intervention. Uh, technology and financial dreams have changed or amplified the struggles young people face. The struggle are diverse and includes finding a strength finder, distinguishing the vice and the nice, from handling rejection to tackling depression, blaming the society approach. And then you put a question, <clears throat> is there a tool to navigate through these challenges? And then he, uh, he, his point of view is that who could be a better co life coach than Tiruvalluvar to help them navigate through these tough times? And in fact, we know the current, in the current world, current society, all of us are navigating through tough times, but the young people, for them, it's a bigger challenge. And this is where uh, Mr. Aravind Bharati will bring to us, will give us an insight into how Tiruvalluvar, the teachings of Tiruvalluvar and Tirukkural could equip our young people, could equip them with the tools they need so that they can face the challenges and they can uh, also progress, make the achievements in their career, in their life, and face the challenges with courage, with determination, and also succeed in their life. So that's a very interesting topic. And I think it's very important for us to be targeting the young people, right? Because they are the one who will carry on uh, with the flag. They are the one whom, on whom we expect them to continue and ensure that we have a world which is full of peace, of harmony, uh, with, the, with their contribution. So this talk will certainly enlighten them. And I therefore now, with pleasure, invite Mr. Aravind Bharati, who, comes, who, who will give his uh, presentation. Thank you, Mr. Aravind Bharati. Right. Uh, it's indeed a, a pleasure and an honor uh, that uh, with God's grace uh, that I've got an opportunity to uh, speak amongst uh, learned scholars. Uh, as Thiruvala puts it uh, clearly, Periyare Trunek Kodal. So I'm, I'm very happy in that sense that I've uh, <laughs> got this uh, opportunity to talk amidst uh, learned scholars and, of course, uh, eminent researchers across uh, the globe. Uh, and uh, what, what would have been a, a greater opportunity to look into? Uh, of course, um, uh, there are uh, couplets of Thirukkural uh, that I have uh, possibly used in my life, right? Um, uh, I am personally a believer of implementation rather than uh, 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 just uh, uh, say accumulating knowledge. So knowledge is best when it is utilized is what I believe. And uh, of course, uh, with uh, God's and uh, Elder's uh, grace, I've been able to do that to an extent as well. Uh, so... Uh, if, if and uh, if at all, <laughs> there are any uh, different perceptions uh, uh, to what I present, uh, I welcome your feedback uh, from all the uh, scholars and uh, all the audience as well. And uh, eventually, uh, this is also a learning experience for me. And uh, through this, uh, is there something that uh, I could achieve? No, there is something that we could learn. Right, so achievement comes. 
uh, only after practice and practice comes only after learning. So this could be one of those learning uh, opportunities for me as well uh, to understand, uh, to decipher how Thirukkural is being viewed global. That's one uh, wonderful, lovely opportunity that I've got uh, through this forum. And uh, uh, my my greater, uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, I think I should, I think I should use this instead of say greetings. I should say my, my humble vanakkam uh, to all the uh, 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 all the learned scholars here, and of course, uh, being a part of the international online conference on Turkul and the UNESCO for World Peace, being peace being the key uh, topic today in today's world, right? Uh, the entire <clears throat> uh, what to say RSS feeds to training in social media, everything is going around peace. But are we really looking towards peace? Are we uh, making business out of peace? Is the key question uh, but uh, otherwise uh, i think it 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 is uh, indeed for for all this while i was thinking uh, thirukkural is more uh, what do you say used as uh, more a scholarly subject or a or a slightly uh, political subject uh, down down here in india or in tamil nadu i should say but is is there something that we could do much yes i think that's something that the international thirukkural foundation from mauritius has been doing uh, Tamil Valachi Mandram from Australia has been doing and the voice of Palluar family that is uh, operating out of India and Valai uh, Tamil uh, website is also doing. I believe Humsaur has joined through YouTube live and Valai Tamil will also be uh, listening to this. So uh, my glad vanakkam uh, to all of them again. Right. Uh, what what excites me the most to to read through and work, right? Uh, the first and foremost excitement that would come to any student while I was a student, uh, of course, uh, they, they call the 90s kids, 20s kids, 2000s kids and more. Uh, that's the kind of vocabulary that is in use. Uh, if you go to any school or college or social media uh, in, in, in and around uh, today, right? Uh, but uh, what really uh, kind of... Uh, uh, helped me got hooked to through Kural is not those five mark questions or 10 mark questions that we used to get in uh, Tamil 1 and Tamil 2 papers when we do it academically in our school education. But it's about uh, how much it the, the meaning or the value of Kural uh, guided me through very difficult situations, right? So this, uh, the entire, uh, uh, what's say work or rather uh, my small uh, attempts that I've tried uh, doing all this while, it's just to trying to give back what I have got from Thirukkural, uh, or rather spread that happiness of saying, hey, you know what? I don't have to go back to a management school or a B school uh, or a self-help book. I have Thirukkural all the way right in my hand. Pretty much it's, uh, I mean, in Tamil, it's, 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 the ownership is open to all, not to the way after it. There's, there, there's no single owner. You don't have to pay royalty. But I have a guide in my hand. Right, I had a guide in my hand. I have a guide guide in my hand, and I will have a guide in my hand. So when I use a guide, so why not, why not tell my folks, my friends, uh, my uh, my next lineage, my next generation, my students, right? Why not tell them, hey, uh, why don't you have a look at this guide, right? Uh, that's the very simple attempt that I've been making uh, for a short while now. And uh, a lot of this also goes back uh, to a, a very small conversation when we were uh, riding on the, uh, uh, say, the National Highway here in Chennai uh, with one of my uh, old good friends. Uh, his name was uh, uh, Jason Jijo. He's no longer with us. And uh, I mean, they, they call a true Christian, right? So that's how he was. And of course, I had, from, a, from a religious belief, I hail from a very religious belief. And we used to discuss theology a lot. And he once told <clears throat> or a bike ride, he said, uh, we were talking about, I mean, of course, we were uh, trying our own entrepreneurship stint by then. And he said, uh, we should uh, we should look for a consultant for a specific business problem. And I said, yes, yes, we should look for a consultant. We should reach out to someone. We should ask someone. Then he said, you know what? I think we should not look at a consultant. We should go back to a uh, textbook, a Tamil textbook, and look at what Tilkurul says and see if we can get a business solution. Of course, we got a solution. Of course, he's not uh, with us anymore, but the solution still prevails, right? And that is my all-time favorite quote since my uh, childhood uh, from my, school, from my uh, college days and through that conversation, 
இட்ஸ் அ வெரி சிம்பிள் குரல் தெய்வத்தான் ஆகாது எனினும் முயற்சி தன் மெய் வருத்த கூலிதரம் uh that's 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 the key that that kural has stuck into me always that was the starting conversation which always had instilled the belief in me of course yes you believe in grace uh, there are believers and there are non believers but for the believers or non believers the first and key most thing is how much of attempt how much of practice how much of uh, uh, real and continuous uh, implementation have you done when i used to work uh, a bit with the manufacturing uh, industry right uh, they used to say what's the major difference what's the major key difference that's making china or taiwan keeping one edge out of others they say repetitive execution right so something that's been executed repetitively with no change like an assembly line that happens in any factory if we are able to do that the muyarchi the word of uh, creating that willful attempt i call muyarchi as a willful attempt and if you are able to do that continuously on a regardless of the result basis then i think tan mei varut takuri tarum eventually it will give you results on its own regardless of your faith or god belief right so this is something that really really got and we built a reward system based on this uh, we built a, a point based reward system uh, for uh, for the small team that we used to handle by then and we tell them for this level of attempt right so there's always a uh, whenever you work in a production on a result oriented environment we always say you give the results you take an incentive no we said you give an attempt for your effort we will pay you and that kind of created a magic within our small organization and of course it was a very small uh, uh, even management organization that uh, we were holding together by then right uh, so long story short is there something that i could learn and give it back i thought why not take it as a simple basic attempt right and in that sense what makes me more happy uh, of course this is uh, a very joyous uh, month uh, across the country uh, in, for for india and south asia uh, we are looking at panguni or palgun that they call it to be in north india where the the spring has just started right so there there's, there's a lot of the winter is gone and there's a lot of uh, uh, lovely environment uh, that is going to get uh, started around and if there is anything that uh, i could be very happy about is that this panguni uh, we just uh, had a uh, a major festival of course we had a, a ritual at our home as well see pangani utram we just had uh, uh, celebrated it yesterday i am sure it's a uh, it's a phenomenon for all the tamils who uh, who live across uh, the globe uh, i think uh, it, during that the edge of that day uh, while i present uh, uh, my uh, uh, my sharings on the rikrol i think it is something that i could uh, Uh, rejoice for the next generation as well and that's how it is and uh, <laughs> they say believe right um, there's an interesting conversation that i had with uh, one of my colleagues uh, i think it was on the um, i believe it was the uh, i think it was the 8th of march uh, <clears throat> on the women's day right uh, on that evening i was walking down uh, the aisle of a uh, of a huge business corridor in uh, in our national capital delhi and um, because i was traveling i was uh, having uh, my dinner outside and uh, i was just walking around and he quickly asked uh, so i i received a call and was just talking in my mother tongue which is tamil saying uh, uh, so you, you speak tamil well uh, he said yes of course that's my mother tongue and then he said uh, uh, and would you read hindi i said yes Uh, to an extent but i uh, my vocabulary in hindi might not be as perfect as you could expect but i could still manage uh, i could still cover the ground and they said oh, uh, but i am told uh, hindi and uh, sanskrit are the same right this was his question right no offense to any other language but i told him yes sanskrit is is a very uh, intuitive or a, or an attempted language wherein that there are a lot of uh, efforts that are put in so keeping that as i told him yes Uh, but do refer tamil to before that age of prakriti or pali to even to before that he said oh then you should be speaking the most ancient language in the world this was the word that someone who has never had an exposure to tamil told me and uh, i asked him how do you know that and he showed me 
Uh, I think uh, in in one of the uh, I, I think he was he was referring to one person uh, national uh, uh, kind of an address, and he said he was talking about some book called the Thirukkur, and he said the Tamil is the oldest language. So this comes from a, a colleague who does not have any exposure to Tamil, and uh, for a lot of people today, Tamil still uh, becomes uh, uh, becomes a wonder. And if there is a symbol, and if there is a kind of uh, what do you say when you go to this uh, huge uh, uh, tourist places and everything, they they give you something to just carry back home, right? So if there is something that you could still carry that back uh, home to anyone, to everyone, I think the identity of being a Tamil is Tripura, right? And that has helped me a lot in my business and also to what I am today. Uh, so in that uh, sense, I think more than Tamil being an identity, I think Tamil is a religion. I mean, when I see religion, people believe in Tamil. People believe in practicing Tamil, right? So please don't mistake me of uh, bringing in that word. I'm saying whatsoever you believe as a part of life is a religion, right? If that is the sense, I think for a lot of people who have, uh, for centuries, for 200 years, 500 years, 1,000 years, for people who have settled in different parts across the globe, I think Tamil is still a religion for them because they believe learning, practicing, and living the Tamil way. So if there is something that I could do from there, why not? Why not? Try, try my best on the best day that I could, right? And um, uh, I mean, I, I keep using this word, God's grace, God's grace, right? And the, the biggest question, uh, uh, whenever I kind of go out in the last uh, 20 to 30 days, uh, I'm not a, a huge TV buff or rather a movie buff, but uh, whenever I go out, um, spend some time uh, possibly for my dinner or in, in all, in almost in all restaurants um, uh, 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 across uh, the, the urban uh, portions of India, uh, the prime time news is pretty much on the war that is happening in one part of the globe. Right? Of course, uh, war has been a constant uh, a threat to the uh, human life for a very long time, but just not now. We have, our history talks about more, more and more wars. Uh, and of course, a lot of uh, Tamil lands have been historically named after wars. So war is uh, not uh, something which is uh, new to us. But when I see the way that the war is being consumerized, right? And when I say consumerization, the Gen Z, uh, the world called them Gen Z, in my, uh, in my circle, uh, in my, uh, which is the human resources circle, the words that are used as baby boomers, millennials, and more, right? So there is this Gen Z. Who is the Gen Z? People who have possibly uh, born after the 19, uh, late 1990s, 1997 to 2010 or slightly to 2012, which means I'm talking about people who are between the age of 11 and uh, to the maximum age of 24, right? So these are the Gen Zs. This is a specific market survey that talks about how the Gen Z will be the consumers of tomorrow's world and why does this research, the market research, talk about the consumers of tomorrow's world? Because today's hooking or today's, uh, what do you say, the position, right? Before marketing, there is a terminology called as positioning, before advertisement. Today's positioning will make them the consumer of tomorrow's market. And what are we positioning today? Going back to all this prime time news and debates that I go and see back when I uh, see, is even when you have food, right? Of course, people go out to eat for ambience, uh, for a nice food, uh, of course, something that they can go out of their own taste and try something, a new cuisine. The fact of fear, the product of fear is being outsold in a huge quantity. And I see people who are in their, just in their uh, mid-20s, early, uh, uh, early 20s, or slightly in their, uh, just in their teens, somewhere around 15 to 20, whenever I go to these coffee shops or any other uh, so-called, uh, the uh, uh, what is it, downtown restaurants, I see a lot of this 
consumerization which is being created on a single pattern called a sphere. And how? Reason being, even while eating, you are not in peace with your own food. When you are not in, in peace with your own food, you are not in peace with yourself. So the word being fear, what could be the medicine for that fear? The absolute word can be anything, can be myth, can be religion, can be God belief, X, Y, Z, psychology and more. But I think the key word is being peace. The word peace and how do you really take that peace internally is the real question. And there's a beautiful couplet that Waldo presents. Kuralian Yermuti Grender, Kuralian 702. And we, when he speaks about how do you create uh, uh, what is an informed decision, which is an kurik parivar, right? Informed intelligence is a right word which is being uh, called out in the analytics area today. And that couplet says, that kural says, Ayya pada ad ahattar unarvani deivatod oppakkholan Someone who can be in peace with himself. In other, in other ways, it's an involution, going back to your inner self. Someone who knows himself, someone who can realize himself without an ayavota of doubt. Ayyapadamal manatthil ulladai, which is ayyapada adu ahattadu unarvanai. The beautiful line here is So someone comes and asks me, how do I come out of this fear? Do, should I believe in this God? Should I go and do this ritual? Oh God, there is a war in Ukraine. What should I do? Should I pray? Should I? What should I do? The question is, yes, believe in God. And that godly nature will come in to you naturally. Naturally, when I say naturally, I mean naturally. The only thing that you need is to have a realization of yourself without a doubt. And what should I practice for that? Is that religion? Is that meditation? Is that uh, any other uh, form of art, yoga, music? Arts? I don't know. The answer might be many. It can be several. But the idea is something that will help you to realize yourself. There's a, there's a famous statement which, which I'm always very fond of. God is in the state of being. Beautiful word, Tamil says, Kada Wul. Go internally. Go inside. Kada Wul and go beyond. Once you go beyond your inner self, Kada Wul, go beyond. Cross that internal line that you have, Kada Wul. God is the state of being. Right? So once you know the state of your own being, once you know that you're very clear about no questions, no clarifications of what you are. Ayyapada adu ahattadu unarvani daivattodu oppakkula. This is this, this, the state of analyzing the brain. And, and why do I say this is a very simple reason. I have my own counseling website. I, I do a bit of counseling to a lot of youngsters. And uh, when I say millennials and the Gen Zs, the biggest question that comes, there are only two types of Two types of gangsters that I see. One, they are the aggressors. They are always aggressive, always aggressive. And there are the regressors. They are always held back. They are always two steps away. They don't really open up. And whatsoever the uh, what do you say, the so-called management has told us to is to create a divide in people and call them extrovert and introvert. There is no such division in the world as much as I have seen. But coming back. The aggressors and regressors. Why? Why should one be an aggressor? For a very simple being, he doubts himself or herself of not being very stable. Hence, he wishes to aggress, make use of any opportunity to create a power over others that's being aggressive. What's regression? Very simple. One who doubts even the word that he speaks, 
right? Some someone who who always doubts about whatever that he thinks, they regress us, and they do not even speak up for themselves. And these are the two large extent of youngsters, the teenagers. There, there, there is a beautiful word that's called the adolescence. When when you write in their age of twelve to slightly go to nineteen, valar irlam parvam is the right word in Tamil, right? Where you're still not a youngster, but you're still going towards that. Like like in Tamil, they say padumai uh, and other words, right? So th there is a there is a stage of life, and uh, Tamil being a way of life by itself, it helps you define in which part of life that you are. In. And even at either of his stages, right? There is a question of inner self. And what is that inner self? There are only three visible or known items that you can know about yourself. One is mind, the second is body, and the third is brain. Mind, is it in your control? Are you able to see it? Yeah, some say yes, some say no. I'm not going to get into that move point. And the second, body, yes. In the name of taking care of body, we only see the muscle mania or the other ways getting into the hatha yoga and other side of it. And the third is brain. I would say the most misused word in science today is brain. The most misused word in the spiritual space is mind. And the most misused word in the daily consumerized world is body. That's why you see every television commercial hooking you on your body. And today we are slowly getting into, hey, here's an app that will help you get your headspace cleared, right? So those kind of ads that we're able to speak, see. And they say, this product, this drink will help you get your babies or child's mind sharper, faster, and whatever, I don't know, right? So that brain, I don't know, the brain is mine, because when I speak now, I don't know, I, either I'm speaking from my brain, because my physical brain is somewhere still in my brain, inside my skull, being a biology student, I could still talk to you about which part is what, but I don't know from which part I'm talking now. Possibly this aura, this environment, the, the global, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, the enthusiasm about Tirukurat, or is it the inner energy which is making me speak? I do not know. Where does this word come from? I do not know. That is our key research. That is a question of curiosity for a lot of scientists. The analyzing the brain state of spiritual practices, it's, it's a very old practice, a 60 plus year old practice. And um, uh, I think it's Topeka, the name of the place in Kansa, which is in US, the Western United States. Uh, I think it started all from the Meninger cleaning. This is a very famous cleaning. They came back, came to India, and they said, here we are to analyze to record the brain waves of the yogis, right? That's how that business started. But of course, uh, uh, making some respect to the science and to the research, right? The explanations are, are, are changing every time. There are a lot of new explanation about how to measure the brain's function. There are a lot of explanations, but the eternal truth and the eternal questions are still remaining the same. You could give hundreds and thousands of explanations, but the, the, the real eternal truth still remains the same. There's a beautiful uh, culture that is in India, especially, uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, a lot of scholars here who, who are uh, born Tamil will still have your Sirudeva Varibada, Kuladeva Varibada, right? And our Tine talks about each Tine has its own God and uh, uh, formatting your own God, right? Or believing in your own God. And uh, I, I think it's, it's a beautiful life, right? And that's where we come. That's where it says, you have Tuluka Taman here. You have Sodalai Madan here. You have, uh, what do you say, um, the, the stone which is kept for the Martyr, the Martyr stone that we call it to be, Nadukkal, that is called it. And why do they worship? Why do they worship the stones? Why do they worship a tree? Why do they have a, their own uh, uh, practices, their own rituals? If there's someone who come back to me and tell me after 30 years that APG Abdul Kalam was a god, yeah, why not? I mean, I might believe it, right? Three generations later, they might believe it because we still believe that uh, uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, our honorable ex-president, lived, lived the greatest life. 
I still know uh, it, it might look a little funny to you, but let me tell you a fact. Every, uh, I think this ha happened somewhere in um, uh, December, uh, if I had seen that, uh, that there is a railway station in Chennai, it's Egmore, right? And uh, there are a couple of more than two times or three times, I see people going on long walks, which is a path yatra, rituals and walks. The beauty about it is, the beauty about it is, they say their God is MGR. Right? And MGR is a person who just uh, lived, uh, I mean, his life was still there three decades back. Non-political, non-apolitical, but I'm still saying, for someone who believes that that person lived a great life, they still believe that they are their God. So that classification of saying that today's generation, what should they do? And then they have a question of inner self. When the question of the external self, what should be the belief? That belief comes from clarifying their doubts. And who's there to clarify their doubts today? Are teachers eligible? No, sorry. Teachers have their own targets for admissions. Teachers have their own targets for examinations because they work in educational commercial establishments and they don't have a choice. Who else can help? Can parents help? Sorry, both the parents are busy, 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 busy earning for their own life. Who else can help? Can uh, the, the, the other generation, the grandparents, will they be of help? I'm sorry. Most of the families don't consider their grandparents as a part of the family. And who else? Who else? Who else can come in? No one else can come in. And if there is anyone who can come in, I think the, the, the most eligible person, the most eligible guide who can come in is your own mentor. When you find your own guru, and if that guru can help you with a guide of uh, a simple guide with just 1,330 couplets, I think that guide can help you, the smallest guide, Tirukur. And if there's someone who can help you understand, Tirukur is a beautiful thing. I, I mean, when, whenever I say uh, God here, someone can understand that as nature. He does not refer to any specific religion. He does not uh, refer to any specific, I mean, of course, there are there are a couple of references about the name of the gods. But is, is it a, that religion? Is it that God? You don't know because our religion has been, uh, our, our uh, cultures on religions has been different for the last 2,200 years, right? In that sense, if there is something that you could take back, I think that is the only way that you can look at it. Read it, read your daily newspapers and everything, right? There is a, I think, uh, for the for the uh, for the thought of the uh, 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 all our learned scholars here, there's a beautiful terminology because I, I'm also part of a, I, I uh, did uh, some reading in psychology. I wouldn't say I've studied some reading. There's a beautiful topic called as neurotheology. I think that's a beautiful uh, subject to learn about. And if there is anyone else in this world who has already learned neurotheology, who has already documented neurotheology, I think that's a thorough door. Right? And coming to that extreme, so I was talking about finding peace, finding aggression. Let me tell you, uh, I, I, I have a, uh, in my small circle, I have a few people who had been uh, in the juvenile. Uh, council, right? The juvenile judges. Uh, and I have my few friends who are lawyers who practice the Indian Penal Code. Then there's a very recent incident uh, which just happened uh, exactly uh, three weeks back. There's a 19-year-old boy who was arrested. 19-year-old boy, right? Um, there's a trend of, um, uh, what do you say, children, uh, adolescent children especially, uh, getting into this, these, these kind of uh, heinous crimes, that's kind of, uh, uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Thanks for that uh, clarification. Sumerian language, uh, uh, I still is the oldest written language. Thank you. Thanks for the clarification. Uh, I, I take that as an input as well. Thank you so much. Right. So coming back, um, there's a 19-year-old boy uh, who commits a crime and he's being reprimanded uh, and uh, he's being taken to the court. And one of the conversations with one of my friends, because we usually share a lot of what's what's happening in in different industry. He said, he said, I'm shocked. I said, why? Because this uh, legal profession has asked that 19 year old, what made you to do this heinous crime? Just a murder, actually a murder, very very gory murder. 
And this boy has replied, the 19-year-old boy. I, I'm telling no story. This is an incident which happened just three weeks back. This 19-year-old boy replied, uh, Anna, it, it, I feel proud to have done that murder. Right? And he says, Gittu. Right? That's a word. And he said, I mean, what? Why do you say that? Right? How, how does it even become that? And uh, the, the answer was much more shocking. The answer was very, very shocking because this boy says, then he says, how does it become a pride to you? He said, yeah, I will look big. I will look big in my area. And he said, how does it really help you being looked at the area? I'll get a lot of money. Then he said, what helps you if you get a lot of money? He said, three things. Just three things. I get a lot of money. And I get the pleasure of alcohol. I get the pleasure of locally, it's called the powder, right? <laughs> Otherwise, it's called the uh, drug, the, 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 the drug, the drugs. And I get the pleasure of women, girls. I'm telling you, this is a 19-year-old old boy who reasoned out the motive behind this murder just for three things. Desire for alcohol, desire for drugs, and desire for women. Right? Of course, I can still go to Kalunma, Kalunami, and other uh, areas, but I think uh, in paucity of time, uh, I'll try to be a uh, little more sharper and shorter here. Nothing, no one else, no one else, to my knowledge, to, to, my, uh, to my limited knowledge, no one else has clearly def defined lust as better as Walder could say. And I'm, I'm saying lust because there's no better word in English that I know. Please help me if I can learn a word better. But that lust are equivalent to the word of Kama, right? And that Kama Tupal by itself being one of the three sections is not leading a youngster or a family man or an old age man or a young lady or a family woman or an old age woman towards an unprincipled life. No, that is not the Kamathapal that Tamil holds close to itself. I could still talk about Aranari Welcome. I can uh, still uh, talk about Inan Arpadu, Inivan Arpadu. There are a lot of other things, right? Nidhinari, Nurhut. But the point is, when you when you very specifically talk about Kamathapal, I think that's beautiful presentation comes from Thiruvalluvar. Valluvam says, Valluvam says, Valluvam says, it is something that you will have to that you will have to really, really, really experience, right? That's why he says, Malarinam Melli Rukamam Silar Adan Sevi Talai Paduvar. Silar, there's only a few who will who would have really enjoyed what that real karma is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use the word karma because lust is not the direct translation of karma. Still, it could be an English word. Right, and why? I, I, I think that's the essence of the um, entire uh, entire Kamathapal, Right, the it is very clear in, in India. They talk about whenever whenever you talk about India, right? Um, there, there is a lot of reference about uh, uh, today's reference. I mean, uh, I, I think the learned audience will excuse me, but I will have to still say that th there is a certain percentage of internet traffic which goes towards pornography today. There is a certain percentage of labeling that comes towards India just for Kama Sutra. But please, but please understand, whenever I meet students, whenever I meet youngsters, I tell them only one thing. Yes, you might have a great curiosity to understand what is Kama Sutra, but before that, please read Kama Tabal. The reason being is very simple. Any Sutra, I am not read, so I, I am not the person to comment on it, but still, for whatever that I have read, whatever read, I have not, each of us have crossed that age and come, right? It just tries to create, give you an explicit way of attracting people of different or the same sex for your pleasures. So pleasure is pleasure. That's it. For any other explanation, any other text available in India, which talks about karma or lust, it just talks about pleasure is pleasure. But Thirukkural, Valdum is the only way, only guide for this generation to say it is about value for the pleasure. Now, the pleasure, is it quantified? Yes, there are a number of pleasures which can be quantified. But is your pleasure qualified? Is your pleasure qualified? That's where he says, Malarin Melili Kamam, Silaradan Sevi Talik Padua. It's more delicate than a flower. And only few have experienced, only few 
our few right to put in that word i think that's that's only something that could uh, that could valu say and uh I, I i i mean fortunate or unfortunate in my work area in my thing i also see millennials this gen z is getting towards this, uh, something called as sexual harassment there, there is a uh un published report there is a un published report i can still read the report but i think uh, it's not fair for me to go into the detail it says every woman child every girl child and the percentage is more than 60 let me tell you right more than 60% of the child, children girl children have experienced sexual harassment at least once before the age of 18 it's very very shocking and this is the data that you were was able to get one day after a few surveys and research work right what happens to the other set of population which is never available for research let me let, let me say it this way the kind of owner honor honor or or let me say the pride of the honor where it is and one who puts it very clearly very clearly he says kama kadumbunan oikime nanodu nallanmai ennum pune the only boat that can carry me out of all these troubles which is the real good part of nanam nanam is worth why value based shame and veeram the real valor so my value based shame and my valor will be just blown away when i that that boat which 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 helps me to cross this uh, huge sea will just get blown away if that lust the flood named lust kamam yenakudiya vadiya vellam kamam kadum punal he says kama kadum it's a, it's it's a it's a stream just not a stream of water it just it can take any amount of uh, line of that if you stand in there then everything will go away there are a lot of things and he says this is the abandonment of reserve nanu thura uraitan and it not it is about how where should you feel ashamed do do that's our children really know today where to feel ashamed no <laughs> really no no one really knows right no one really is a way to feel pride way to i mean way to feel that pride or way to feel that uh, the sense of shame which is value based shame that i mean i can still go to the references of the poxo act and how uh, the lot of things ipc 96 how a general defense of a girl child can be considered to a right act right uh, to to protect herself to any heinous crimes which is towards harassment and she can protect herself to the lot but i i would still retract myself to that line and come back and say if there is any way that our children our youngsters can look into it i think the best thing is to do that is to clearly understand what is love and what is lust and even if you really look up at the body the relationship right that most of the youngsters are craving for today one is that aggressors that we spoke about about valor and what they consider to be high and valu says udal unardal punardal ivai kamam kudiya petravayam these are the only three just udal unardal punardal there's nothing more but he still calls it to be a three stage process udal and before udal and punardal there is unardal any lust that comes after love being on a common understanding on a mutual consensus will only be considered common or lust and if it is an aggression if it is a bodily desire just the bodily desire then i don't think it really means to be a relationship that that's why you see breakup calls breakup songs breakup means right you go to insta you go to facebook you go to twitch twitch is the latest trend trend among the youngsters right that there it's it's all about breakup it's it's all there either it's a new hookup or a breakup uh, uh, they're not able to come over it they even then they, when, when i again say about that um, what do you say the shame again that right? uh, i mean like carl jung says i mean the greatest uh, psychologist as the history says shame is a soul eating emotion and when there is a kind of a shame which happens either they lost in something and uh, they have not able to make the relationship work i think that again goes back to what valur saying calls to be what is the right shame 
வாட் இஸ் நான் உடைமை இஸ் இஸ் உனுடைய எச்சம் உயிர்க்கெல்லாம் வேறு அல்ல நான் உடைமை மாந்தர் சிறப்பு உணவு விச் இஸ் யுவர் ஃபுட் யுவர் ட்ரெஸ் அண்ட் நத்திங் மோர் ரைட் திஸ் ஆர் வெரி காமன் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் பட் வாட் மேக்ஸ் யுவர் வேல்யூபிள் பர்சன் வாட் மேக்ஸ் யுவர் லைஃப் கிரேட் தி தி ரியல் பர்சன் ஆஃப் விஸ்டம் இஸ் தட் நான் உடைமை இஸ் தட் தி வேல்யூபிள் ஷேப் and who who really uh, feels for that today i mean of course i i, I someone like me right there, there is psychology there is pathology but there are a lot of things about uh, uh, medically about uh, shame as well but uh, i'm also trying to say even if in paleolithic times if you have to go back to anthropology and other things it was a group's order to create the best way of cooperation they will make you feel shame and that's the only order which will create which created societies right from the stone age right from the stone age if that is based on values i think there is no more guide there is no more dilemma there is no more confusion between regression or aggression that can happen for a child for an adolescent child in this line of life right uh, there there are a few more uh, that i would love to share but uh, uh, i would like to uh, check with uh, doctor and other learned members i do i still have time how much time do i have Can go ahead, please. I mean, uh, sir, uh, Arun Prasavan, sir. Yeah, uh, you. You need some more time. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Please. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Hey, thank you. Thanks. Thanks for uh, uh, sharing the time. Right. Uh, okay. So, so in in terms of bringing all this together, right? Uh, what what could be the best? So when I, when I speak about there are a lot of uh, what do you say? uh if if there is anything that uh, got hit against uh, amongst all three generations i'm talking about people in their 20s uh people in their 15s people in their 25s and people in their 35s if you ask all of them all of them like whom so had learned english have got some kind of uh, exposure to all the otts today right they this called as a binge watching today right uh, i i would certainly talk about binge watching also but if you really look at that all of them like this a particular series called as friends if there is anything second to the consumerist behavior of the gen z or the millennials what will what content is being sold more to them is friendship and what kind of a friendship we don't know friendship is called as anything even acquaintance is called as friendship there's a there's a there's a beautiful word right in tamil it says kenmai the kenmai is the 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 netted friendship it is not just a friendship just not knowing uh, just one person or the other right so in that sense what kind of a friendship will help and i think in that sense i am blessed today uh, to have uh, been able to get an acquaintance uh, with, with a lot of senior people but going back to thirulur the greatest acquaintance that i have ever had uh, is he says how that friendship could be and he says have friendship with someone who does not have a crime or a guilt kutra matra natpu maruga masatrar kenme un peertum oruga opilar natpu which means you need to ensure that your friendship is built up in amongst two things one is is a friendship which does not have any kind of a guilt or a crime or any kind of a uh, what do you say contradicting emotion and the other says he says someone who does not in uh, fall in line with your emotions with your character right onreethum oruga oppilar natpu someone who does not go in alignment with your character so you need to ensure you need to ensure that you cut off these relationships maruga masatrar kenmai onreethum oruga oppilar natpu so he says before you could do anything do not do these things so for an example when you when you fly in a, a aircraft they say what to do and before that there's a lot of signs across you will say so what not to do and that what not to do is is in kural yen 800 kural yen genmore and that couplet clearly says on what kind of a friendship can really help you and uh, of course uh, the, the nearest uh, uh, the, the nearest point of uh, uh, i would say Uh, i mean uh, it is an utopian dream right if i could, could uh, come back and say no 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 ensure that your friend should be like this only you should be a perfect example i think that will be too much of an utopian dream for me but still if there is a nearest point that they can arrive to 
a creative common platform of seeing what is not bad what could not derail me from my approach i think in that way uh, uh, there is a lot of scope for a lot of uh, children to grow with that right there 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 is a lot of uh, talks about what's a good friendship what's not a, a friendship across countries right today we uh, globally we are able to see there is a west and there is uh, 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 the countries than west and there are countries which is the uh, which 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 are trying to create uh, what do you say uh, a non alliance kind of uh, a position so friendship are there are a lot of global examples which uh, i mean of course it's a global audience so which i do not want to really peg and keep pointing about but if that is so then what might help you is very different and what will not help you what will derail you i think in terms of what will derail you valuer gives you a lot of scope to understand he gives you a ready made guide and that valuer's couplet says maruga master class kind like one ikka maruga oppila nadu ensure that you leave off these friendship which will derail you and what will help me then and today every child everyone who goes to school everyone who goes to college wants to do an mba or they want to be a, in the top of the management and no one knows right there are you would you wouldn't believe there are 12 year entrepreneurs that i am able to see entrepreneurs who are just 15 years they are say, called like like we had nyana sambandhar in our uh, prodigy right the, the prodigy lineup uh, uh, in the belief system similarly there are prodigies today i mean we used to call yar rahman a prodigy in music long time back but there are a lot more prodigies that we have able to see today and they they are coming from business acumen and even to them and not to them right it doesn't matter if you in your 60s or in your 20s and padur puts it very clearly in kural number 631 karuviyum kalamum seigayum seyum arunayum maandadamaiche if you really need a guide with you if you really need someone who can really help you create this decision you have you should have a team which will mentor you today we call the ministers right and not everyone can afford to have a ministry and a minister but if you really have i would call that amaich here as a as a mentor as a guide and even if you want to talk about uh, the what you say uh, the executive leadership or the political leadership yep of course they also have their ministers but there are only there are only three things you need a tool to do that work karvi and you need the right time to do that work which is kalam and you need the right attitude with activity which is the right work right deal to be done seigayum he did not say seigayum he said seigayum which is in the right way seigay is the right means of doing that action so one is you need the right tool you will have to be in the right time at the right place in the right period and then then he says seigayum the right action and then you get someone who guides you through that becomes your right mentor and what 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 else could be the right guider guide or the mentorship for 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 anyone today when i'm talking about executive or political leadership or any kind of leadership today and that b- brings the beauty of creating value or creating a guidance value out of curriculum i think uh, there, there are a lot more uh, from whatever uh, small things that i've ever learned right there are a lot more that i can say but i would like to uh, possibly share this part this this important thing that that kind of creates a heart burn into me every time i think uh, i would like to keep it as my uh, last uh, uh, point of sharing or my last part of learning from tirukkural is something that someone told me and later i knew that it came from tirukkural this this is nothing but before you know what you should do before before that you should know what you should leave odal vendum oli maalgum seivene aadum ennum avar it is nothing but there are a lot of people who talks about uh, their dreams what they want to achieve in life right aadum ennum avar they say this will happen i will make it happen this is the kind of what you say certainty or arrogance i believe it to your choice on how you want to decide this kind of uh, decision making with uh, today's generation but they, they want that to happen ah dum endum avar this has to ha- happen that is the kind of they say this will happen i will make it happen that kind of determination if you really need to go into that stage of determination 
The first step that you'll have to do is to clear away, cut off all those things that are unnecessary in your life. Going back to whatever that I spoke about, binge watching, right? Which is nothing but watching. You don't know. I mean, you take any series, right? Uh, Breaking Bad or any kind of uh, uh, investigative series or Money East, all this popular series or even the Indian series, Tamil series, a lot of web series and TV movies, James Bond movies, uh, Marvel series, DC, lot. <laughs> you wouldn't believe children today are doing 18 hours of movie watching, which is six movies in a shot, 10 episodes in a single go. That's called binge watching. And there is an other beautiful uh, lifestyle that they have, which, which makes me laugh, but it's a very serious threat, which is binge eating. I feel bad, I will eat biryani. I feel good, I will eat biryani. I feel that I will have, a, what do you say, uh, something with loaded with uh, um, uh, a turkey or anything, right? Any meat, red meat, right? I feel bad, I feel good, I feel bored, I feel happy, I feel broken up, anything is connected either with binge watching or with binge eating. And that is what, how this generation has made us consumers. And if today's, if there is any other way that someone has to enlighten someone and to, to tell today's adolescents, the children, the youngsters, to say, if you have to really achieve that point of determination that you really have, then simplest thing, the basic advice, the basic guide is to leave what you have as the right things. Leave those if you really, you'll have to leave those wise. Oh, that'll be endum bodi marthum. Say we nee, adum yen yenu mavar. You will have to ensure that you have to leave away all those things. And you, only if you leave away that, then you can create history. And history remembers people only who have done things and not who have spoken things. Right? Uh, I think in that uh, in that level. Whatever World War has given us, he has done it. He has done it. And that's why even today, uh, the, 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 this festival, uh, uh, the, I always laugh about it, right? Uh, there, there, is, there is a street called Rakhiapan Street in Mailapur. And if you go around, there is a uh, Thiruvalluvar Temple. I, I'm sure that it's uh, more than 400, 500 centuries. And a lot of references about it to always. And today, even when I go to the street, they say there's a TV coil street. Because they wouldn't want to call it, uh, I mean, it's, they want to make it shorter. It's just TV, whatever has become TV, <laughs> right? So uh, if you really want to, uh, if you love TV, then I think the best TV that you can love is Thiruvalluvar than anyone else, right? So um, I, I think that in that sense, uh, I think I just enjoyed whatever um, uh, I was able to imbibe from Thiruvalluvar for all this while. There are a few more couplets which have... Uh, which have got me enthralled. I'm, I'm not a student of uh, a great person or a great life, but I've learned a lot of things by myself. I think in that very small experience by God's grace and my, my teachers and my guides, I could still say, Tamman Periyar Tamara Urugudal, Vanmayul Yillam Thalai. I think I really got that opportunity today uh, for, for all those seniors, for all those learned people, for all those uh, uh, great scholars who joined today. I'm very sure I, I feel obliged to have uh, been a part of the Tamin Piriya Tamara Urugudal. I got an opportunity to have been a part of your circle today. And I think that's the best thing that I've ever done in life. One uh, uh, Yellam Thali. In that sense, I'm very, very honored, very, very happy to have been a part of uh, this talk and this discussion. Thank you. Well, well, thank you very much, Mr. Aravind Bharati, for this very enlightening and very thought-provoking presentation, which has given a lot of food for thought. And I'm sure our participants will have some questions or some uh, you know, clarification or comments to make. And uh, for this, I leave it to Mr. Rajendran, who will conduct the, the rest of the, of the session. But let me, let me also take this opportunity to announce to all of you that we have a series of other speakers will come, uh, it's once a month normally. So the next one after Mr. Aravind Bharati will be Mr. Benjamin Legault from France, who, who on the 12th of, on the 16th of April, he will be talking on St. Tiruvalluvar, the great proponent of world peace. And Dr. Uh, Prabhakaran will, uh, 
I will talk on Valluvar's strategy for success. And this will be on the 7th of May. I'm just announcing it to you so you know what is coming, but we will be sending you the list of conferences also. Dr. Marudu Mohan who will be speaking on actor Sivaji Ganesan and St. Valluvar. And he will be speaking on the 21st of May. And then Dr. Mare Malay <clears throat> Ilakkuvanar will talk on the culture of peace and Tirukural on 18th June. And then we have Mrs. Anuradha Rajasegaram from Malaysia, who will be speaking on Tirukural and mental health. That's a very interesting topic also. And uh, this will be on the 16th of July. I just want you to have an idea, but I will share the list of conferences, coming conferences, so you can then book it in the diary. So <clears throat> I think I will now invite Mr. Rajendran to conduct the rest of the uh, proceeding. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> that was a really a very thought-provoking uh, speech by uh, Mr. Arvind Bharati. The challenges before uh, the humanity. Uh, what are the values which the young generation holds dear to their life? What they call as the achievement in their life? When they take sense of pride? All these things we need to contemplate. We need to be contemplated. Unless we take care of the health of mental health of the gen next, we'll be failing in our duty to guide them properly. So we'll have, I'm sure we'll have uh, the listeners, uh, though uh, a few number here in um, a Zoom meeting, each one of them is a, a great scholar I know personally, many of them. And um, <clears throat> uh, we have with us Mr. P.K. Gautam, uh, Dr. N.V.K. Ashraf brought him to the table. Uh, he has done a research on uh, uh, Valuam and uh, the warfare. Yeah. Uh, he shared his paper also. Uh, uh, Ashraf has shared uh, the paper uh, also with me. Um, and we have uh, one Swamusundaram Nahalingam. It seems he has just left. He has trained over 200,000 students over a period of uh, you know, 12 years plus. Uh, one day workshop is conducted in various schools, government schools in Tamil Nadu. So <clears throat> um, I, I could see him, but now he's not there in the screen. So I'm sure uh, the, 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 uh, the listeners, will, uh, audience will have uh, some questions. Please raise your hand and uh, address it to uh, Mr. Arvind Bharati. And he, I'm sure he will be able to uh, give a convincing reply. Uh, please, the floor is open. Any Mr. question? Punambalam. Mr. Ponambalam has raised his hand. Yeah, Mr. Ponambalam. Yeah, please. Yes. You you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Okay, oh, thank you for the chance of intervening. First of all, there are lots of points which have been raised. And uh, let me first of all say that Valduver, the great saint has given us lots of tools everything has been given but the question is did we make good use of those tools we are talking about values we started wrongly when we learned from very young age when we were taught about the alphabet a b c d a should not be should not have been told to us for apple a should have been for amma B should have been for Bhagwan, C for the Kovil. So values, the tools are there, but the thing is that we were never given the right tools. So the tools existed, but the medium was not correct. This is, these are the things which we are going to correct, and we are correcting, and we are doing it. This is why we are going towards uh, to UNESCO. And it would be a pleasure if we really we, we stress on those elements, on those medium, so that we can proceed further to make it known to the world. During the expose just now, we heard about 
Kama Sutra or pornography, everything is there because the world is aware of it. But Valver exists and the world is not aware of it. That's why we're going to UNESCO and we have to make the most of the medium. We have got lots of schools in Tamil Nadu, you know, in Mauritius here in our country, all the invitations, when we send invitations, always there is the word of Valver. The words are there. The the any anywhere we we we, we teach Valuer is always there. So if all schools, if all companies in the in their letterheads, they'll use an extract of Valuer's words, and the, everybody will become aware. So that these are simply a few observations for us to further deliberate or elaborate in the near future. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Thank you for your, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the words of wisdom where we need to uh, work upon. So I now uh, request uh, Mr. B.K. Gautam uh, is, a, is an army officer, former army officer, uh, to, to share his uh, views. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. C.R. and uh, Mr. Amugan and uh, all my friends, Ashraf. And I thank uh, Govinda Swami Rajakopal, who was a, who was a Professor in Delhi University who came as a discussant when I gave my first research. So you will be happy to know that the Indian Military College of Defense Management has opened an Indian Cultural Study Forum to extract leadership qualities and management theories in Tirukural, Kautilya, Arshast and Gita. They have started with that. And uh, years ago, I mean, Kural was not known even to officers who had served with South Indian troops in Madras Regiment or Bombay or Bengal or Madras Engineering Group. But now, you know, so there's a groundswell. So I want to share this thing with this audience. And uh, I want to share even about, till I was 60, I didn't know what Kural is. Till I read an American scholar who were, who were saying that India has got traditions of, you know, Kotilya and Kamandaka and this and that. So, therefore, I was so impressed with Kural and uh, uh, Mr. Bharati's lecture today is so important because when I, I am also on the Dalai Lama circuit. So, the Dalai Lama says that the technology has advanced so fast. Yes. You know, it's, it's rapid advance in technology. For instance, tape recorder, I was as a child in 1956, when a Grundig take came and we were thrilled. So today the technology has advanced rapidly, but the human emotional intelligence, the humanity, unfortunately, is the most the rot the rottenest, the most arrogant. You know, the human race has got a problem. And I then find that once COVID happened, I thought that the world will, you know, it will, you know, be a better place because it's a you know huge huge problem but unfortunately i want to add no, i'm not a political scientist but mediocre leadership in the world see again we are getting into a worse sort of a situation so when i see tirukural and i told those military officers that tirukural has got geneva conventions inbuilt in it okay so institution of war exists even in tirukural's time so he's not a peace researcher from that sense. But today, I think we have to get rid of this human nature, which is pulling us back. And I find uh, the Tirukural gives the ideal uh, solution because no, everybody, every religion claims it as its own. It doesn't have any caste system, nothing. So therefore, I'm very happy. This only thing is how will it happen? How, because my, my, my research question is, if Tamil Nadu schools have been reciting Tirukural, that means the Tamil Nadu political class should be fantastic. But when I see the debates and every five year an election, DMK and Anna DMK and you know the going on. So wh where is that Kural gone in Tamil uh, society? So that is my worry. So I'm challenged by scholars who says you are you know you're a great guy you know Indic tradition you want to sell this. How come? Then South India, you have got you know the problems. They have got problems. So therefore, so I leave it at that. But I'm so happy that uh, 
Mr. Ashraf gave me this link, and I wanted to share this Indian military is going gung ho on Tiri Kurolo. So I said, don't sort of uh, you know vandalize it. Don't go beyond it. Just cool down. Do it slowly. And the the their colonels equivalent will be brigadiers and generals and air marshals. And then they had done research and they found that the school children in Tamil Nadu. The, the moral part of it is very, very important, including laws of war, because the Indian military has to have dharma. You know, the laws of war, there's no enmity. You only do your duty, but you don't sort of kill, you know, civilians and other things. So therefore, this uh, huge uh, message is gone and they are now researching on it, basically to get leadership and management theories and how to you know, as an audience, how to speak. Because today, like Mr. Bharti is speaking to us, so he's got his lesson plan made for us. Similarly, when you speak to children, you have to change it. So that way, I am so happy that Tiri Kural, I wanted to share this news with you that the Indian Studies Cultural Center in College of Defense Management, Sekandrawad, has raised a cell. So they are trying to, and Tiri Kural is very much part of the understanding today of the Indian military's intellectual training and education. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you for that um, you know, wonderful news and uh, uh, plus the concerns you raised. I, I request uh, Mr. Bharti to, uh, you know, uh, uh, give his reaction on uh, how to tackle uh, this young generation. Addressing the question to Mr. Aravind. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Arvind. Yeah, because the tools of uh, you know tools yeah. have become sharper, but uh, but uh, moral values have gone down the line. Uh, what can be done? Because uh, you also mentioned, uh, Arvind Bharti also mentioned in his uh, talk, a, a boy, nineteen-year-old boy, takes sense of pride when he had done this, you know, the murder. So, uh, so how how where have we gone wrong? This is the land of Tirukural, and uh, uh, this is a kind of values which we practice. So psychologists and uh, you know everyone need to address. But uh, what's your perspective on this? Yeah, yeah, please. Right. Uh, I think I, I will answer what my uh, Tamil teacher answered me uh, long back. Right, I had the same question. Uh, mm -hmm. We just not Tirukural, right? We have a lineup of Nizamari movement. Right, you know, not for the anyway, not for the end, lot more. And uh, so, when I uh, this is more of a, I mean, I had that uh, fortunate uh, Tamil teacher, and uh, she once told me, Where there is disease, there you will need the medicine. So, especially when I when there was a, a huge uh, hue and cry about uh, uh, the government owned uh, alcohol outlets in Tamil Nadu. Uh, so, uh, 10 years or 11 years back, I asked her this question. A uh, land where Trikural is spoken and Kalunamai is, is a part of a tradition. Why is it it's so famous? She said, it's because we have had this problem 2000 years back as well. Right? So put it other way to answer to uh, 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 our uh, military veteran, Mr. Uh, Gautam. I'm not able to address you with the right words, so I'm calling you, Mr. Please don't uh, uh, mind. Right? So our military veteran, uh, there's a very simple answer. The same problems we had 2000 years back, right? Piranmani no kama, kallu nama, right? Uh, Sudh, right? So I, I, I can still, uh, I mean, uh, to, to just decipher that in English, so there's Piranmani no, no kama is nothing but adultery. Adultery is still a huge issue. Uh, Sudh, Sudh is nothing but uh, uh, cheating and uh, bluffing, right? And uh, kallu nama is the abstinence from alcohol. Right, and of course, Kamathapalai, uh, uh, he talks about uh, what is good and what is bad. I, I did uh, speak about uh, the interpose aspect of it as well, with Punachi. Right, so uh, all these problems have been existent with the earlier Tamil society, not the language that I'm talking about is Tamil, the earliest society. So, hence, Thiruvulvar tried giving us a medicine. Uh, fortunately, we still have the medicine, but the disease is also still prevalent. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, thank you, thank you for uh, I think, uh, uh, I, 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 yeah, yes, 
Ashraf so wants to leave and uh, sir, can we uh, allow Ashraf to make his remarks? Yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, he has got another meeting. Ashraf, please. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. Gautam, thanks for coming at the, such a short notice. It was very uh, nice pleasure to meet you. Just before I leave Delhi, I wanted to make sure that I meet you. Thank you so much. And Arvind, uh, your uh, speech was very emotional and very uh, clearly spelled out. Um, very captivating in the sense, uh, and I wish you had more time to uh, substantiate your uh, speech with more uh, couplets from Tirukural. But it was wonderful listening to you, and, and I really appreciate your uh, scholarship in Tamil also. You can, you can converse in both languages so comfortably. That is a very rare uh, uh, trait you see among uh, people, speakers. Um, I had only one comment. Uh, <coughs> I always have one, uh, uh, something that I do not agree. You In the beginning itself, uh, you said in case uh, if people disagree, please don't hesitate to tell me. Uh, so that uh, the couplet that you cited from which comes under the chapter called mind reading what is reading the mind of another person obviously you have taken uh, as reading yourself uh, if that couplet was under the chapter truth realization then I would say that uh, we could have uh, taken that interpretation what you have uh, given this is reading Another's mind, you treat that person in part with God, those who can read without any doubt the minds of another. Mind reading is a very interesting subject. Even yesterday I was talking to Mr. Gautam about mind reading. So, um, so that, that's the only comment I need to uh, make. So that is uh, interpretation is left to individuals. Uh, it's a very interesting couplet, however. I mean, there are many couplets in Trikural. Why, if you happen to place it in some other chapter, the meaning will change. So this is a very beautiful couplet that uh, that you have interpreted in your own way. That's the only thing I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like you. to listen to you more. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that, that's why I also said informed intelligence, but I will uh, uh, read your point. I'll understand yeah. uh, about the That's why inform, I mean, yeah. informed intelligence. But I will certainly take your point. I reread it again. Uh, to kind of get that uh, uh, view as well. Thank you. Yeah, Ashraf, uh, I'll take with the permission of uh, Arvind, um, you know, I, I add to that. Unless you learn to read your mind, you can't read others' minds. Only a lamp can, you know, light another lamp. Unless I, I since if I don't know how to read my mind, the Dalai Lama, you know, the circuit, uh, <laughs> I, I could see the hands of BK uh, Gautam Sahib. Unless you read yourself, unless you know the technique, unless you practice the technique with yourself, how do you apply on others? And we will get back to that on that later. Uh, you know, thanks for that. I, I fully agree with you. I got a new insight uh, into the Quran. I knew this uh, interpretation, but I got a new insight today. Thank you. I think Mr. Gautam wants to say something. Sir, please, sir, go on. Asha, we will discuss on that later. Uh, unmute yourself, please. Can you hear me, please, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. Please. South Asia Institute, University of Heidelberg, Germany. I'm I'm not a PhD, but I'm in the alumni network. So they have a lecture. So I had said I will introduce Tirukural to you. So it's called DAAD, and uh, they have all, all the alumni. So I, when I was giving the presentation of Tirukural, there was a uh, Sierra, Sierra student from Sierra Leone. He said, "Why don't you get it?" Organize, recognized as a UNESCO heritage uh, document. So I said, I'm not sure. So since you had made a mention, so is it being recognized as a UNESCO heritage document? Because I said, I don't know. He asked me this question six months back. Oh. From, yeah. And the University of Heidelberg, there are around 20 students from South America, Europe, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Germany. The, the alumni, they have a lecture each, uh, every uh, once a week or once a fortnight. So they selected me and I said, I will talk on TV Kural. And they were very, very impressed. But that heritage document, is, what, what is the status? I just want to update if you can please tell us. I could see the beaming smile on uh, the face of Dr. Agum Pasraman. Sir, please. So unmute yourself, please. Uh, Mr. P.K. Gautam has raised a very interesting question. And I'm glad that this was raised by the students from Sierra Leone, uh, from Africa, and also from the others. 
In fact, this is what we are doing. This is the mission we've embarked on since some four years, uh, you know, realizing the universality of Tirukkural. We have been advocating for it to be considered, uh, to be recognized by UNESCO as a book of universal literature. And very much in line with what you mentioned about the heritage. And this is the, this is the move that we've been doing. We've organized a series of uh, conferences uh, during that period. And uh, our, our final objective is to take Tirukkural to UNESCO, to the world, and get it there recognized as a book of universal literature. And for this, the series of conferences will help, will help to build up the momentum, but we are working also with the government of <clears throat> Tamil Nadu and central government, because the procedure for this to happen, it demands that the, a member state of UNESCO, in this case, India, to take a resolution to UNESCO and get it approved there. And this is what we are now doing in terms of getting that uh, process on <clears throat> and getting the, the, the support of the central government and the state government of Tamil Nadu to, to take it to that point. So this is, the, this is the move in fact, and the whole uh, idea of organizing all these conferences, sensitizing as many people as possible is, and mobilizing the diaspora also, is to get this, uh, this objective realized at the earliest possible. We were planning to go to UNESCO uh, in 2020, but COVID had put the restriction as we all know, but we are still working on it. And I hope uh, we will uh, reach that objective uh, in, at, the, at the earliest possible. Okay, I hope I've given you some clarification that this conference, this series, the talk you are listening today is part of this series that we are, will take us to the to, to take UNESCO, uh, Tirukkural to UNESCO. But I think uh, there was a very, very interesting question about uh, Tirukkural, the young generation. And here I must, I must bring to your attention, I don't know whether you've, you, you've read the, you are aware of the judgment that Justice Mahadevan gave, you know, following uh, the petition by senior citizen, Mr. Rajaratinam, who was very upset with a degradation of values in India in Tamil Nadu society. And therefore approach, uh, sent a petition uh, before the Madurai bench of Madras High Court, saying that education based on the tenets of Tirukkural is only way out. And he, he wanted to have a judicial direction to the government of Tamil Nadu to provide such education to the future generation of Tamil Nadu. And Honorable Justice Mahadevan delivered the judgment and granted the prayer. And that I think, I believe I would encourage you to read, to see this judgment because it contains a lot of valuable, uh, you know, interesting ideas and, and also insight into how can Tirukkural contribute to this, uh, in, uh, this inculcation of values, the vulnerable values among our young generations and allow me just to give you, to refer to a quote from the judgment whereby it says that the above extract from Tirukkural are pulsating and if put into practice will certainly pave way for better humans, in turn a better society, in turn a better country, in turn a better nation. Children whose quest for knowledge is unlimited should be drawn into principles at an early age so that they are not deviated. The future of every country lies at the hands of younger generation. It is the duty of the state to show them the rightful path, and there's no other better philosophy than what is preached in Tirukkura. So that, I think, gives us the, the, uh, the key to what we should be doing, you know, to inculcate those values in our young generations. And he continues, and I'll, I'll just I'll take that second part, he said, undoubtedly, when the seeds are cultivated early, the result will be fruitful. When the young minds of this country are taught about the moral philosophies and methods as contained in Tirukkural, we can expect a better 
reform generation, not only in moral aspect, but also in political and commercial management, that would definitely take the nation into a progressive mode. So I believe we have this judgment by itself is a, is a great landmark and should give us the required, uh, you know, uh, uh, push to take Tirukural to where we want it to be. Thank you. Mr. Rajendran, on hey, to you. Thank you, sir. And uh, now, uh, Mr. Somasundaram Nagalingam has joined. Whatever you said in the judgment, this is what he has been doing it on the peer level over wonderful, 15 wonderful. years. Systematically, he has conducted close to 600 workshop, one day workshop among the government school children in Tamil Nadu. Wonderful. So I would request uh, Somasundaram Nagalingam to share his perspectives and views, uh, which, you, you, which, which can be a uh, you know, uh, because very passionate speech by Arvind Bharati today, I could uh, see his, uh, you know, expression and uh, passion and uh, what, where we need to do, so why this uh, Thirukvalism, Tamil Nadu, everything, it was, it was a very, very passionate speech. So uh, I would request to some sort of knowledge. If you program. allow me, Mr. Rajendran, yes. if you allow me, I would at the same time take this opportunity to invite uh, the participants today, those who want to give a talk at our series of conferences, feel free, let us know, you know, and I am referring to Mr. P.K. Gautam, who could tell us about more about the military, how they, well, they've taken Tirukura and another uh, sacred book like Gita and so on. And, and uh, also Mr. Soma Sundaram. I know with the experience that you have uh, done over the years, you know, it might be useful for you to share the, your experience with us. Yeah. And all this will be in a publication before we go to UNESCO, there will be a publication of the proceedings of the conferences. So if you feel it, uh, you know, if you, I would very much welcome you. You let us know and we'll accordingly plan and give you the timing for the conference. Thank you very much, Mr. Rajendran. Thank you, On sir. To Mr. Thank you. Happy Thank evening you. to, happy evening to Onanda also. Uh, especially, I should be thankful to my commission, beloved commissioner, Mr. Rajendran, for having given me this opportunity to address you all. Uh, I'm a little self-centered, I should say. When I lost my second son in a road accident, I thought I had to channelize my grief. So we started a foundation called Nickel Foundation. We started empowering the young minds throughout Tamil Nadu, whether they are from government school or aided school. We have our own system derived from the concept of World Health Organization. It has suggested value should be imparted to the young minds. So we took a, a leaf from it and we a device like that. We call it Vallamai Karnir. So we cover uh, self-analysis, goal setting, communication, memory, time management, decisioning, all the self-development topics are personal development topics. We use uh, Thirukural in all the topics, but especially one particular topic, we use uh, Thirukural for every value we train the student. The topic is called human values, whether we train them on love or responsibility or patience or avoiding anger, everything besides telling stories, we train them on the Thirukural because Thirukural is the treasure with regard to values. So we are uh, taking the values suggested in Thirukural to the younger minds. Nearly we have covered so far two lakh and odd children and we are pursuing in that uh, area. In fact, recently we uh, actually we cover only students of 9 to 12 standard. Recently we started covering from 6 to uh, 8 standard. There, we call that project as Aham Mind, Puram Mind. Aham means we cover values under that topic. Puram, we cover uh, soft skills under that topic. Aham, we cover uh, love, responsibility, honesty, cooperation, and empathy. But uh, without the requirement, our uh, material will not be complete. We are even, uh, even uh, giving them written uh, materials. So we give training manuals. And of course, the trainers also trained. Recently, last uh, in December, we had a training program for all our trainers. We are nearly 100 in numbers. We trained them on Thirukural, how to uh, handle all these soft skill topics to the students uh, with the help of Thirukural. Uh, three uh, renowned persons at Virudhanagar, they helped us a lot. In fact, uh, we didn't even spend a single buy. They took care of everything. And besides that, they handle the program also. Yeah, each and every area, management area or self-development area, how we can make use of Thirukural. In that way, our trainers were benefited by it. 
Uh, uh, what are the challenges? What are the challenges you faced when you, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Bharti also mentioned about so many things? Uh, because there's a greater uh, where there is a problem, where there's a disease, the medicine is, in, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, found out and that is administered. So Thirukkal is such a medicine which was uh, found out by, by Oliver uh, from whatever the resources available at that particular point in time, and he want to administer that. But unfortunately, there, there's a lot of declaration values, which uh, Mr. Arvind Bharti mentioned. So what are the challenges you faced at the field level? Can you share in a couple of lines? <laughs> in fact, uh, challenges wise, I don't think we faced any challenge in that because people are taking, uh, till then they were used to uh, uh, take the rural only as part of the subject. Now they are uh, able to see a different dimension about uh, Thirukkural. Uh, when they are being advised to avoid anger, when we say like that, it is, uh, we say, uh, Serendare Kolli is a kalaichol, a peculiar word only by Thirukkural, not by anybody else. So they are taking it easily. When we, when we go with Thirukkural and stories, it is easy for them to take it. So in that way, I don't think we find any challenges. In fact, uh, we consider this human values topics to adults also. I handled this program for some of the college students also. How Thirukkural can be made use of with regard to our values? Because nowadays values classes are not there, moral classes are not there. Even parents are not competent to uh, tell uh, moral stories to the children. And uh, now in the Kadai Solihar, they have got a different perception. They say no moral should be uh, told along with the story. International and the storytellers, in fact, I also followed when I daily address the Facebook audience and with the story, I don't say any uh, answer for it. I'm okay. leaving to their perception. But when you handle with children, you should be, uh, they should be told that is my perception. But uh, the new storytellers, this community says it should not be told. The children should take it by himself. But uh, anyway, I don't think so. That, that's a good, uh, you know, I mean, uh, point to be uh, pondered upon because uh, Dr. Arun Parasana himself was the education minister. He also handled education in UNESCO. I'm sure, you know, uh, we, will, uh, we will discuss in future. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your perspective. Thank you, sir. So the, basically, the fault lies with us that we are not taking it the way it should be taken to the young children. That's yeah. what I take yeah. it from your message. Isn't yeah. it, uh, uh, Mr. Bharti, would you agree with that? Uh, we are not taken to the children the way it should be taken. Uh, yes, sir. That is one. And second thing is, uh, I mean, as as I said, consumerization, when I say consumerization, not as just uh, commercial, uh, the sweeter way of the treating Thirukkural is also best be. I mean, our school children still see, I mean, though Mr. Uh, Mr. Somsundrup and others, they, you are on the field, you know better. Uh, still, it's seen as a, a 20 mark, 5 mark, 2 mark, right? <laughs> or uh, you get a shield or a trophy from your college or your school. But what does it really imply to you in your life? That's something that, uh, I mean, there's a very recent joke uh, uh, that I was uh, able to hear, right? And it says, uh, uh, So a father is teaching his child and uh, he says it, uh, it's an important quran. Uh, make sure that you today, tomorrow say it at your uh, uh, school, you will get some prize. He says, uh, I'm not able to understand. He says, yeah, so but this is how it is uh, from my point of view. Thank you, thank you. Sir, uh, Sir, can we uh, wind up, sir? Yes, I think so, yes. Oh. Uh, I think we've... Yeah. So... Uh, I'll leave you for the vote of thanks. Uh, uh, <clears throat> today we have other two uh, very important, uh, you know, the uh, the personality who traveled with us, uh, Mr. Bath Sardi and... Uh, Chandika Subramaniam, they are not there with us today because of other uh, personal engagements. So I take the honor of, um, you know, uh, thanking uh, each one of you uh, who uh, listened to this lecture. Uh, first, the thanks to the listeners. Then the thanks to the chief guest of the day to day. Uh, as uh, Dr. Ashraf, an avid researcher of uh, uh, Valuam, uh, over a period of 20 years, uh, said, 
uh, today's talk is really very very uh, what should i say it's it's um, uh, it's intelligent and it, uh, it it touches your mind uh, it gets into the bottom of your mind and presents the various picture and what needs to be done noi nadi noi modal nadi adu thanikum vai nadi vai pechayil i really we are very fortunate to have uh, you know uh, you know swam sundaram nalingam today with us and uh, the future speakers uh, uh, mrs anuradha i think she is there with us and uh, mr bk pk gautam though the, though the audience level is very small but they are i'm telling you these are the the people who are uh, trying to practice valluvam and take you to the next generation the best way to take valluvam to the uh, gen next in my opinion in my humble opinion uh, i'm 64 plus is you practice <laughs> this is what we learn from mahatma gandhi whatever mahatma gandhi said he first practiced to the core then he shared with the society now youngsters are saying uh, they judging people very easily the kuriparidal they know better than anybody else there is a lo- whole lot of information which is available you know mr arvind uh, bharti also dealt to that instantly mr arvind bharti carries a two names which are very very great to siddha prushas swami arvind and mahakavi bharti and both both are touched to the pinnacle of their chosen field and both of them were very closely interacting with each other a wonderful place pandicherry where they lived together for several years and swami arvind he came here all the way to reach the heights so i am telling you this land this land will lead the world not merely by scriptures but by yeah. practicing scriptures we have with us we we may be wondering that what hobby has got to do with uh, thiruvalluvam valluvam it is only to only to save god us when when threat is there from outside we need to be strong enough to protect we we are the peace loving country absolutely absolutely there is no doubt on that even war need to be fought on on terms and condition which is the world war says very difficult the prisoner of war how need to be treated there is a couplet in valluvam when somebody is injured in the battle battlefield please please take care of him first that's what valluvam says now we have come to the stage where when people sleep you know we bomb them bombard them and you know lot of things are happening all over the world less said the better because the the war game has changed there is no dharma in war game but valluvam says you need to be valiant you need to be courageous you need to fight enemies you need to protect your people that's the fundamental duty of a leader and that's a, one of the leadership quality kavalan the one who protects his society from the attack so so uh, dharmic war that's what mr bk uh, pk gautam you know will, will 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 speak about and he also today he shared very very valuable input that why tirukkal has not has it been declared as a heritage of mankind this is there in article 4 of unesco where a document ne can be you know declared as a heritage of mankind the volume is not heritage of mankind we have other literature uh, artha shastra and we have bhagavad gita all those things got a tinge of something else bhagavad gita is a tinge of definitely a religion but valluvam is secular valluvam is a secular prescription for the humanity not only for tamilians not only for india it's for the humanity if you practice valluvam we don't we will not have war we will not have place for armies in the world but unless the people practice we need to we need to have a strong army that's what valluvar says he says eagle there's a chapter on eagle he says eagle is the worst enemy and he should not be there at all in the in the in the human mind that's what unesco says i'm telling you uh, very very uh, you know uh, i sincerely thank uh, you know mr arvind bharati uh, who is in touch with the gen next uh, through his series of series of program and we also have other uh, uh, eminent speakers here and mr ponnamlam is traveling with uh, uh, arun parshraman a very very passionate man i met him once in uh, in chennai so uh, <clears throat> so this journey 
சுகதர் ஐம் டெலிங் யூ குடிசைவல் என்னும் ஒருவருக்கு தெய்வம் மனிதற்று தான் முந்துரும் definitely we will have the blessings of blessings of nature or almighty whatever you believe in it has to happen the humanity need to survive and the world over is the only prescription there are several prescription but there is very comprehensive a composite dose of everything it composite dose composite medicine composite medicine for all ills all ills which is afflict in the society so on this wonderful evening i thank once again um uh, <coughs> mr arvind bharti uh, thank the chair uh, <coughs> dr Ar- arma prasaman thank my other colleagues uh, you know uh, pat sardi and uh, chandika subramanian and especially i want special thanks to mr pk pk gautam at a very short notice he joined us and shared very very valuable inputs thank you sir uh, army man always gets a salute because you are uh, you are <laughs> unless you got the border how do i sleep peacefully at home how do i look at how do i you know get into tirukural further and further deeper and deeper i have a peaceful sleep because you are guarding us you are guarding us from uh, unlawful attacks so i salute us especially i salute you sir and thank you very much and we will again another program we will catch up with and um, till that time uh, you know we take leave and thank you very much jai hind